फ्रिक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन द फेनोमिन विच अपोजिस द रिलेटिव मोशन बिटवीन टू सरफेसिस इज कॉल्ड फ्रिक्शन फ्रिक्शन इज अ फोर्स विच कम्स इन टू प्ले ओनली वेन टू सरफेसिस आर इन कॉन्टैक्ट द फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन ऑलवेज अपोजिस द मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इट टेंस टू स्टॉप अ मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट it also tends to prevent a stationary object from moving we can therefore define friction as a force that slows down moving objects or prevents stationary objects from moving the frictional force between two surfaces depends on shape texture and mass of the objects in contact types of friction friction is of four types rolling friction it acts when one object is trying to roll over a long surface sliding friction it acts in the direction opposite to the direction of motion this is the minimum force that is required to keep the object moving at constant speed due to this It is easier to push a moving box as compared to push a static box. Static friction. It prevents an object from moving against a surface. Fluid resistance. It acts upon objects as they travel through fluid, liquid or gas. Causes of friction. friction comes into play because of the following factors a surface which is rough has many grooves and is irregular it's said to have a greater friction movement of objects on such a surface would rather be difficult if on the other hand the surface on which the movement has to take place is smooth the friction experienced by an object is less let us consider the following example to understand this example if you ride a bicycle on a rough road it covers a short distance after we stop pedaling but if the bicycle moves on a smooth tar road it covers a longer distance before it stops This clearly shows that the friction is more when the surface is rough and friction is less when the surface is smooth. The friction depends on the interlocking of two surfaces. If the force of adhesion is greater than the force of cohesion, the friction is more and vice versa. A third factor that affects friction is the force exerted by the object the greater the force the greater is the friction this is the reason that it is difficult to move a heavy table than a light table friction is necessary to keep a ladder against a wall the ladder will not find a grip against the wall in the absence of friction experiencing friction in daily life friction has both the advantages and disadvantages some of these are listed here advantages of friction the friction between our feet or shoes enables us to push our feet against the ground we would otherwise slip in our attempt to walk Walking on ice or a very smooth surface becomes difficult due to less friction between our shoes and the ground. The friction between the tires and the road enables the movement of vehicle on the road. Brakes work on the phenomenon of friction. On applying brakes, the brake shoe rubs against the wheels. now friction comes into play and reduces the speed of the vehicle matchsticks are lit on being rubbed against the outer side of the matchbox which offers friction
we can write on the paper using a pen or pencil due to friction nails and screws are held to the objects due to friction this advantages of friction the objects in contact require more force to overcome friction between their rubbing surfaces this results in wastage of energy friction causes wear and tear on the rubbing surfaces the tires of the vehicles the sole of our shoes are some of the examples of wear and tear friction causes heat it increases the temperature of many parts of the machine which might be harmful at times proper cooling should be done to avoid the breakdown of the machine reducing friction the main cause behind friction is the roughness of the surfaces in contact thus anything that is capable of reducing the roughness between surfaces can reduce friction some methods of reducing friction are given below using wheels and ball bearings vehicles have wheels to facilitate their motion luggage also have wheels as rolling friction is less than sliding friction it is for this reason that ball bearings are used in parts of machines to reduce friction polishing friction is reduced on polishing the surface as it becomes smooth lubrication applying a lubricating substance like oil or grease reduces friction the friction between the surface of the object and the layer of lubricant is much less in some cases parts of machines get heated up too much and reach a very high temperature in such a situation graphite may be used as a lubricant streamlining the object on streamlining the objects we can minimize the fluid friction the frictional force exerted by fluids is called drag friction is minimum for streamlined shape which is narrow in front and broad at the back birds fishes aeroplanes missiles rockets and cars have streamlined body to reduce friction friction due to air is called air resistance here is an activity to prove that friction depends upon the nature of the surface in contact take a ball and roll it on the cemented floor measure the distance covered by the ball repeat this activity on a rough kacha surface and measure the distance covered by the ball the ball should be rolled with the same force on which floor did the ball cover longer distance it will cover a larger distance on the cemented floor because the frictional force between the cemented floor and the ball is less so we can conclude that friction depends upon roughness or smoothness of the surface in contact and vice versa increasing friction at times friction becomes a necessity in such cases we need to increase the friction which is done in the following ways grooves are made on tires to increase friction between the road and the tires this prevents the vehicles from slipping during rainy season sand is spread on slippery roads to prevent the vehicles from any kind of accidents athletes wear shoes with spikes to increase their grip on the ground gymnasts rub a coarse substance on their hands to improve their grip other than friction between solid parts there can also be friction due to fluids air and water the force of friction due to air and water is called fluid friction when cars and aeroplanes move at a very high speeds their motion is opposed by friction 
offered by the air molecules surrounding them. The friction of air is called drag, which opposes the motion of the vehicle. To reduce drag, automobiles, ships and aeroplanes are given a special shape called streamlined shape. An automobile with streamlined body experiences maximum resistance when travelling through a fluid like air.